drawing the graph, we're going to start out with the clueless method. Looks like clueless. But a clueless method is what we're going to do to graph when we're not sure what the graph is supposed to look like. And all it involves is plotting points. So here's our function f of x, and I'm going to plot some points, but first I'm going to make a table up so I can get some values. I like to use zero whenever I can. Why is zero nice? It's usually very fast to plug in. What is f of zero? Zero plus zero minus two is negative two. We'll go with one and minus one next. We'll go positive one first. One plus one minus two. We get zero. F of negative one. Negative one squared is one. Minus one. This is going to cancel. And we get negative two here as well. And we'll go negative two and positive two. Plug in positive 2, we get 4 plus 2 is 6, minus 2 is 4. And last up, plug in 2, uh, negative 2, we have 4, minus 2, minus 2. That's 0 again. Yep, looks like zero again. All right, so we're going to plot all these points out. And we'll just start on negative two. Negative two, we have zero. Negative one, we have negative two. Zero, negative two. Zero is negative two. One, back up to zero. And at x equals two, we have positive four put that right up there. So we got these points right here. Now graphing them, we're going to connect them together with the smoothest line that we can. Well, line's a bad word. Curve, smoothest curve that we can. So this would not be the smoothest curve to connect these together, this V-shaped curve. We can do a little bit better than that. We'll just make the Try to make the curve nice down there. So there is our graph. There's no reason to stop at two other than I don't want to uh, keep graphing. So this, I could plug in three, four, five, any bigger X values, keep going up. Could plug anything less than negative two and this graph would keep going up. Now, how do I know that? Uh, we're gonna get into graphing various uh, polynomials and we're gonna find out this is a degree two polynomial it's even and it's a uh, positive coefficient. So it will go up on both ends. So we'll see that soon. Now intercepts, how do I find intercepts? So I have a graph, I can see intercepts, so I can write them down right away. But let's talk about how to find intercepts if you don't have a graph, all you have is the function. So x-intercept, what does that mean? You're on the x-axis, that does not mean x equals zero, what that means is f of x equals zero. So we're going to intentionally set f of x equal to zero. How do we solve quadratic? Factoring, if it factors, factoring is the fastest. So we should get x minus one, x plus two equals zero. And I got that because negative one times positive two equals negative two. Add these together, two minus one is one. So zero product property, either this is zero or this is zero. That's a very easy algebra problem to solve from here. All we need to do, add one, x equals one, or x equals negative two. Now for x-intercepts, let's write them as points. That's how they appear on the graph. And they're going to appear as 1, 0, negative 2, 0. So there's our x-intercepts. Y-intercepts, very similar, except you're going to set the other coordinate, the x-coordinate, equal to 0. So here we set y equal to 0. Here we're going to set x equal to 0. So what is f of 0? 
we plug in zero. We can do that very quickly. Zero plus zero minus two. We get negative two, and this is our y value. So our y-intercept is zero, negative two, matches our graph.